In 2018, 20,000 Google workers walked out, blaming the company for protecting their executives despite their workplace misconduct. Now, exactly after two years, Google has embroiled in yet another controversy involving one of their top employees. On December 2nd, Timnit Gebru, one of the researchers who leads Google's ethical AI team, tweeted that Google has fired her. What followed was a huge uproar within the machine learning community and things soon started getting out of hands for Google. Timnit's firing was followed by an ultimatum to Google by the group named Google Walkout for Real Change, who blamed Google for unprecedented research censorship and demanded the company to undertake an assessment in full public view. So far, the letter has been signed by 1,600 Google employees and more than 2,600 supporters from academia. So, uh, Timnit was one of the very few vocal black women uh, working on ethics at Google. The gravity of the situation was such that Google's chief executive, Sundar Pichai, had to pen an apology claiming responsibility for the whole episode. The AI could do any job uh, we're already assigned that. Something more profound than electricity or fire. Alter ego software. We're limited by slow biological evolution. Timnit is well known for co-authoring a groundbreaking paper that showed facial recognition to be less accurate at identifying women and people of color. Timnit has been a key person behind voicing unfair and unethical practices in AI. And this is not the first time that she has been a part of a controversy that has rattled the AI community. Earlier this year, she got into a Twitter fight with Turing Award recipient Yan Lakun over his tweets on algorithm bias. Her latest one is on a much larger scale with Google, her employer. The research which she was trying to put out was somehow adjudged unworthy of publishing by the Google's review team, which included Jeff Dean. Addressing this issue, Dean sent out an email to Googlers adding his own version of the tale. Timnit wrote that if we didn't meet these demands, she would leave Google and work on an end date. We accept and respect her decision to resign from Google, explained Dean in his response. The paper in question was a survey on the implications of using larger language models. In the paper, Timnit and her co-author touched upon various aspects which, according to Jeff Dean, were incomplete. For example, Dean wrote, it talked about the environmental impact of large models but disregarded subsequent research showing much greater efficiencies. Similarly, it raised concerns about bias in language models but didn't take into account recent research to mitigate these issues by Google. So what happened here was that she wrote a paper that uh, because of what it was arguing and, and that is the strange thing where it actually wasn't it was a very well written paper, but from what sources have confirmed, it wasn't arguing anything new that was all. Google cited Timnit's latest work and her response to the rejection inconsistent with the company's views and decided to part ways with her. The whole AI community was taken aback by the ongoing episode between Timnit and Google. Social media quickly picked sides. While Team Timnit alleged Google of discouraging strong voices, Team Dean asserted that Timnit's ousting was deserving as threatening an organization is unprofessional and she left no other choice. There were also few testimonies from Redditors who claimed to be Timnit's ex-colleagues explaining why no one tried to approach Timnit for feedback owing to her usual demeanor towards criticism. Nobody gives you honest feedback, wrote the Redditor. I hope this whole episode will make you more receptive to negative constructive feedback. So, what is so challenging about ethics in AI? We asked a few experts. When large companies use this framing of ethical AI, it's actually a way to avoid legal regulation of their algorithmic systems. Paying lip service to like improve your brand image, it has to go into the way, say, decisions are made at the company. Um, and in Google's case, uh, in improving its algorithms, and Timnit has been, in fact, at the forefront. 
if you're a uh, an, an ethicist working with undisclosure agreements, so I can't tell you about it, uh, which should already sort of raise alarm bells about, you know, what are they doing that you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement? Um, because they want your ethics expertise. Or are you being asked uh, because it's good PR? While Google tried to douse the fire, a group of researchers, including NVIDIA AI head, Professor Anima Anand Kumar, tweeted their solidarity to Timnit by refusing to review papers by Google AI. Professor Anima then went on a tirade with a well-known AI researcher, Pedro Domingos. Uh, you know, Google uh, launched itself uh, famously with, with its own sort of ethical creed, uh, which, which became very popular, right? Um, and this idea that um, it, it immediately gave this impression that ethics is easy, right? We don't even need the Ten Commandments, we just need the one Google commandment, don't be evil. The whole chapter might make an outsider wonder if there is any serious research work on AI ethics being conducted in these exotic glass houses, or if ethical AI is a mere facade for the esoteric who are content with offering lip service and prefer to expend their energies in bullying the distractors on social media. The constant disputes amongst organizations or the ones within them and the nature of these disputes does breed skepticism. Even worse would be the discouragement of those individual researchers who are genuinely pursuing real problems in AI. Um, can, we, can we judge Google's actions or any corporate giant? Um, can we judge their actions even in terms of ethics because of how much they themselves have changed what ethics means? So this is why in, in my nihilism technology book, I say it's not about whether technologies are good or bad, but about how they're redefining what good and bad mean. A mode of thought does not become critical simply by attributing that label to itself, but by virtue of its content, wrote Alan Sokol in his book. Within countries, and it's a regulation that is already in the works to ensure that algorithmic systems are scrutinized. The advent of AI is often likened to the Industrial Revolution and other such events which have changed human civilizations forever. But if we were to follow AI to make decisions for us, the least we would expect is some fair play. After all, we have invented machines to replace prejudices with fairness exhaustion with efficiency and for this to happen fairness should become synonymous with ai and should be firmly etched in the minds of people or in the least case openness about the technical challenges that hinder advancement of ai might work too <laughs>